Hey guys, Zom Fox here, and today it's time to do the week three betting picks for the 2023 USFL season. We have a huge matchup coming up this week, as well as a couple other ones that are going to be very intriguing to see how some teams do. So without further ado, let's just get started with the first game being the Breakers versus the Stallions. This is a huge matchup. We have the two two and oh, two of the two two and oh teams going against each other at 12:30 in USA at Birmingham during Legends Day for Birmingham. This is a huge game. Essentially, the winner of this game is going to basically be viewed as the best team in the league. It doesn't matter which team wins it or how, they're basically going to be viewed as that. So, this is a big one. Uh, the Stallions are minus six favorites. They're also minus 250 in the money line. And the over-under is 40 and a half. This is definitely a tough one to call, but I'm going to go with my gut on it. And I say the Stallions win, cover, and it's the under. In terms of them winning in the cover, I think the Stallions are just a better team than the Breakers. I think the Breakers' defense is very suspect. The fact that they allowed the Gamblers, who I do think Bahar is a solid quarterback, but the fact they allowed the Gamblers to be in that game as long as they did, despite the fact they didn't really turn the ball over, is a very big concern for me. And then I'm going to go with the under because I think that the Birmingham defense is just so much better than the defenses that the Breakers have been used to playing. As well, I think that the Breakers defense are probably better than what the Stallions have played. So I think this game is going to end up being more along the lines of like a 35 to 40 point game instead of the 50 point game the over-under has. So that's just my pick for that one. Now, in terms of the second matchup, we have the Gamblers versus the Showboats at Memphis. This is also a big one. Memphis's second home game, and this is one where it's definitely a very close game to a lot of people. Simply put, the Showboats lost a lot of stock last week due to how bad they got pwned by the Stallions. And now the St- Gamblers are favorites by three, and the money line has been minus 154, with the over-under 43 and a half. I'm going to go with the Showboats winning this. And naturally, I think they're going to cover, and I'm going to go with the over. My reason for that is I think that the Gamblers' offense is going to do just as good as they did against the Breakers. Maybe a bit less, but overall they're going to put up at least 20. And I think the Showboats are going to easily put up 20 to 30 points on the Gamblers. I think the Showboats end up winning this game because I think the Showboats understand that, for one, they're going to be in their home crowd. And as long as it's even half as good as it was last week, they're going to have a really good home field advantage. And number two, they need to rebound for, from last year, last week. Last week was a horrific loss. If they don't come out and at least look like they're trying to get, you know, a W, that's going to be really bad for them. I think they're going to try to win this game to solidify themselves as at least a contender for a playoff spot instead of what they look at now, which is as they look like the worst team in the league to some people. They're going to prove they're not the bottom team, but yeah. Now the third game is the Maulers at the Stars. This is definitely a weird one. Essentially, the Maulers have lost the stock as well. Their offense has been pitiful, but the Stars, a lot of people seem to be seeming to question whether or not they're great or terrible. I still think they're solid, and it was just that it was an off night. And so because of that, even though they're six and a half favorites and they're minus 270, which might seem a bit insane, I think the Stars win and cover. I think they do win this game by at least a full touchdown with an extra point, and I'm going to go with the over. I think the Maulers' offense is going to do a bit better than it has the past couple weeks. I think that because of the fact that they're playing a defense that hasn't been the most convincing in the Stars, as it seems that they are very, you know, like, they're going to try to get a turnover, not really get a stop. So I think the Maulers have a chance to score 20-ish points, but I think the Stars definitely will put up, like, 20. I think that Cookus is going to have a great bounce-back game this week, as long as they're not playing in any rain or something like that. I think the Stars end up winning this game. I just think they're a better team, so I'm going to give them the edge. And then we have the game at Ford Field for the return of the Panthers. Panthers are minus 4.5, minus 2.13 in the money line, and the 44.5 is the over-under. Simply put, Panthers got to win this. This is a very important game to be back at home for the first time in, you know, over four decades. They need to win this game for their fans to solidify themselves as a true home team juggernaut. And I'm going to go with the over. I think the Generals are going to have the first week where both quarterbacks play solid, but I think this Panthers defense does enough to get a couple turnovers to help the offense do even better. I think that Love continues to have solid games. I think the Panthers end up winning this game in what would probably be like a 30-20-ish game, which I think a lot of these games are going to be pretty high scoring this week just because of the matchups. And I think the home field advantage is going to be a big one for the Panthers, though I wouldn't be surprised this is an under, but I do think it's going to be an over. Now, in terms of overall looking at the picks from last week, I ended up going 500 last week. Mainly the spread, I went 3-1. and one. The over and under, I went 1-3. and three. And then money line I went two and two. So I'm getting closer to getting back ahead in the spread and the over under not so much. So yeah, that's basically do it for this video. This has been Zom Fox. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. We're doing at least three videos a week for the USFL season. And as always, have a great night.